Chapter 3, Advanced Pin Tumblers, Rounded and Beveled, Master Keyed, and High Security Pins. Most locks you will encounter have to be affordable, therefore they will also be easier to pick. Manufacturers are always looking for new and innovative ways to make locks more secure. They are also looking for ways to make them cheaper. Because of this you will encounter many modifications. Some will make your job easier, some harder. Higher quality locks are made to tighter tolerances. Picking these more expensive devices can be a challenging task that will demand more practice. Advanced lock picking is an art that requires you to be in tune with yourself and the lock to pick up minute movements in the lock. There is less room for error and it will be harder to tell when the pins are set. Of course, sometimes the manufacturer will try to trick you by using different types of pins or holes. The ends of the pins that meet at the shear line are usually mostly flat. The key must lift them to the correct height to allow the plug to turn. Sometimes though this is not the case. These ends can be rounded either to account for lower tolerances or to portray a false set. That is the plug can rotate slightly giving the effect as if it were set even though it is still jammed in place. Loosen your torque slightly and try to jiggle the pins into place. Here the bottom pins have a rounded top and can problematically jam slightly beyond the shear line. You have to stop pushing up on the pin exactly as it sets or the rounded end can enter the hull. This will keep the plug from rotating. However, it will still turn some and another pin column may begin to bind. Just loosen your torque and allow the pin to fall or use your pick to jiggle it loose. Again, you may lose some other pins you had previously set, so you'll have to be careful and do them over again. Beveled holes can cause a similar problem. They can also work in conjunction with each other to make your job easier or more difficult. The pins can also get stuck on the bevel in the hole and cause another false set that mimics the reaction of a real set. Here we can see the pins being raised and the top pin jamming on the hole's bevel. You may have to rake over the pins a few more times or pick some of the pins a few times in order to get a lock with beveled holes and rounded pins to open. Depending on the design though, your job could be easier and the pins could slide into place with less effort. Ultimately, your persistence will pay off. Many installations and buildings have a large number of different locks that each need their own key. For example, each room in a hotel needs a different lock for each door. It would not be practical though for owners or maintenance personnel to carry that many keys. So there is usually one master key that can unlock all of the doors in a system. Picking these locks can actually be easier, however, since there are more pin combinations that can open each lock. These locks have extra middle pins in some stacks that allow them to rise to different heights, yet still break at the shear line. This allows two different keys with one or more notches cut to the correct second height to also work the lock.
Usually the master key will lift the bottom pin to the shear line, while the user key lifts the middle pin to the shear line. This means the master key will have the shallower cut. Otherwise someone could simply file down the correct notch on a user key to make a master key that could open all of the locks in the system. As you can see, there are more pin height possibilities, and you are more likely to get one right when you try to pick a lock that supports a master key. The more middle pins, the more keys a lock will work with. Thus, it is easier to pick. There may even be unintended combinations for which there are no keys. Often to compensate for the middle pins making picking easier, some of the normal pins will be replaced with special high security pins. High security pins are almost the same as normal pins. They serve the same basic purpose. They move up and down in the pin stack and separate at the shear line, just like their simpler brethren. They only begin to act differently when someone tries to pick them. These more costly pins will fool you into thinking you have set them while they haven't really cleared the shear line at all. You will get that satisfying click and the plug will rotate just like normal. But something is amiss. The lock will refuse to open. The mushroom pin gets its name because its shape vaguely resembles a mushroom. The indentation in the side of the pin allows it to false set as it is being pushed upwards. The top edge of the head of the pin will slip by, mimicking the pin setting, yet remain stuck at the same time. Because it is the top pin that is set, the lower pin can still fall freely down, further maintaining the charade. Because it is the top of the pin that is stuck, you can no longer simply continue to push up. You will have to slightly release your pressure on the torque wrench while tapping or pushing up to allow the pin to fit completely through the hole. Especially if they have rounded ends, you may have to pick some pins several times for them to properly set. This backwards rotation of the plug will provide valuable feedback, though it may unset some pins you had previously set. Don't worry, you will be able to go back and pick those normal pins again later. A second popular design for high security pins is the spool pin. They are also aptly named because their shape resembles a spool. They produce a very deceiving false set and can be difficult to detect until too late. The side of the pin is designed to catch on the edge of the hole, making it very difficult to push up while applying too much torque. Again, try to reduce your torque and jiggle up on the deceiving pin. An important difference between opening a lock with a key and picking it is that torque must be applied to the plug while picking. A special pin design called a serrated pin exploits this fact to make picking incredibly difficult. The sides of the pin and hole have teeth and edges that catch on each other when torque is applied to the plug. This holds them in place and prevents you from pushing them upwards. Vibrational or impact methods may work better for these locks. Generally, only a few of the top pins will be replaced with these special high security pins though the serrated design may be used in all of the pin columns. If pushing up on a pin causes the plug to rotate backwards slightly, then you are most likely dealing with a security pin. A light torque with a heavier picking force can be used, or you can switch to a high-speed raking, impact, or vibrational method. Security tumblers were once the exclusive domain of expensive, high-security cylinders, as time goes by, they are becoming more and more common. You are probably quite likely to experience them in your travels, but not on the common door lock yet.